If you could peek inside the brain, you'd see remarkable cellular circuitry. Billions of nerve cells called neurons are linked together by bushy branches, sending signals to generate thoughts, memories, movements, and emotions. Alzheimer's disease slowly destroys those networks, breaking down the ability of neurons to communicate and eventually killing them. It's not clear what causes Alzheimer's, but here's a look at two microscopic changes in the brain that are believed to contribute, the accumulation of plaques and tangles. The plaque story starts at the surface of neurons with a large protein called APP. The yellow figure shown here sitting in the cell's covering membrane. Enzymes seen in blue normally cut APP so it can be cleared away. But sometimes the enzymes make those cuts abnormally, releasing short protein fragments known as beta amyloid. Those beta amyloid pieces have a tendency to clump together in a way that interferes with neuron to neuron communication through connections called synapses. Plaques are formed as more and more beta amyloid builds up between neurons. Many healthy older adults harbor some amyloid plaque, but in Alzheimer's disease, the plaque is more extensive. Now let's move inside the neuron, where those neurofibrillary tangles form. Neurons contain a system of microtubules that transports nutrients and other substances. A protein named tau helps hold that system together. In Alzheimer's disease, tau becomes abnormal. The strands, shown in yellow, twist into tangles that can't support those microtubules. The transport system collapses. As a result, the cell eventually dies. Scientists believe these brain changes quietly brew for years before the first symptoms appear. They typically begin near memory forming regions such as the hippocampus. But as the disease progresses, neurons die in other regions and the brain shrinks. The initial symptom is mild memory loss. As the disease worsens, other symptoms include difficulties with language and thinking skills, confusion, changes in mood and delusions. Eventually, people experience difficulties speaking, swallowing and walking, and require round-the-clock care. Alzheimer's cases are on the rise as the population ages. Today's treatments only temporarily ease some of the symptoms. There is no cure, but scientists are trying to better understand how Alzheimer's attacks the brain and find ways to stop it.